Hello, so welcome again to another beautiful episode of Reaction on the channel. If you're meeting me for the first time, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Daniel and you're welcome to Daniel's Reacts. On this channel, we keep it cool, we keep it simple by reacting to musical videos of your favorite right that is. We talk about culture, we talk about talent, we talk about um, uh, places you haven't seen or haven't heard about and we tend to react to every piece of video on this channel. So what are you waiting for? What are you looking at? Do what to just smash the like button, turn on your post notification bell by subscribing and also do well to share our videos to your friends and loved ones. You know, someone out there will love what you say. So without talking too much from the title, you should know the description of the video. Like, you can't wait to watch it, right? The same way I can't wait to react to it. So what you just need to do is to grab your cup of popcorn, your juice and everything that we get to make your mouth bobbing and you get entertained so that you don't get to miss out on this beautiful episode of reaction so without talking too much we are wasting much of your time do well to engage on this particular one you can also support us by also super thanking super chatting and also you can see a link in the description where you can support us also by buying a coffee that way you can support the good work you see on youtube and you appreciate the reactor or the content creator of that particular piece of content so without talking too much let's dive into the video you came to watch so let's move it guys oh in islam wow. we don't have what is called hmm. sabbath the word sabbath uh, actually comes from the word uh sabbath in arabic the word sabbath means seventh and so yom al sabbath in, in Arabic is called Saturday. So on the basis of that, we know that um, the Sabbath uh, was originally Saturday, not Friday, wow. not Sunday. Um, the, the Christian church, 300 and some odd years after Jesus Christ, they adopted Sunday because Sunday was the day that the pagans used to worship the sun. So since that was the day that the pagans or the Romans and the Greeks used to acknowledge a day of holiness, they took the name of Jesus Christ and the faith of Jesus Christ and they applied it for that day. When they, and wow. so they called their day of worship Sunday. Okay. And then the okay. Christian um, civilization just adopted that. As a matter of fact, all those days that we're acknowledging, Sunday, Monday is called Moon Day, Tuesday is, is another day, Wednesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is Thor's Day, that's another God. And, you know, so all of these days that we're using are, are from the Gregorian, Greek, Roman calendar, which is evidence of their pagan practices. As a matter of fact, there's a group of Christians who do not accept Sunday and they call themselves the Seventh-day Adventists. Okay, and that's why the Seventh-day Adventists, they are worshipping on Saturday. But now we as Muslims, when the Prophet Muhammad came with his revelation, we were given the order to worship on a day called Friday, but it's in Arabic, it's not Friday, it's called Jum'ah. Jum'ah means a day of gathering. So what we were ordered to do is, at noontime, or approximately thereof, on Friday, the Muslim men especially, are ordered hmm. to stop their work, stop their business, stop their occupations, and go and pray in congregation. Now that congregational prayer on Friday only takes probably maybe half an hour, 45 minutes at the most and after that we can eat drink work earn money so there's nothing no restrictions but we are ordered to stop on Juma and go pray now for the women if they want to pray Juma they can it's optional but the, the, the rationale behind women not having to do it is that if the women also were ordered to go make Juma what would happen to the children what would happen to the home so in Islam we do wow. worship uh, um, this is mind blowing. A Sabbath in the sense that that day becomes binding on us to stop, to worship God, to pray, to listen to some admonition. But afterwards, God says, Fan tashiru fil arud. Go to the earth and benefit from whatever you want to benefit. So after the Juma prayer is over, we can work, we can eat, we can resume whatever it is that we have to. And so for us, there's no one particular day that we have to stop. And the other thing is that the Christians were doing this by this covenant that on the basis that God created the heavens and the earth in six periods or six days and on the seventh day he rested. Well, we reject that concept because resting is not an attribute of God. God's work 
doesn't, it's not like our work. It's not like after God created the heavens and earth or he did some tremendous work, then God needs to sit back and take a breather and drink some lemonade or whatever the case might be. It's not like that. So we don't have this concept of God that he needed rest. But we do believe, and our Quran says, that God created the heavens and earth in six periods. And after that, he settled on the throne. But settling on his throne means that God is on his throne. We don't say he's on his throne like I'm sitting in a chair. Wow. He's on his throne according to his majesty. We cannot imagine what that is. But after six periods, he created the heavens and the earth. He completed that work. And after that, he settled on the throne. We don't add anything to the meaning of that, but we don't have a, actually a Sabbath in Islam. Let's answer your first question, sister. This is mind blowing. I've never seen something like this before. Like, it actually blew my mind. Guys, if you watch this one, drop in the comments. Let me know what you think about this particular word. And for you watching to this very moment, like, I appreciate you. I don't take a lot for granted. No, 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 no. So thank you. And do well to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're yet to subscribe. And also drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this particular one. And for all our returning subscribers, thank you for always coming back. I don't know right about this particular one. All right, belong to the rightful content creator of this group, piece of art. I don't intend to infringe on the copyrighted materials. So thank you and see you in the next one. Do where to stay put, stay safe, and stay subscribed. Peace. Bye for now.